This video explains how to calculate the sum of list elements using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example list, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of R Studio that a new list object is appearing, which is called my list. And we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our list contains three list elements. And each of these list elements contains five numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to get the sum of the values in the different positions of our list. So for instance, the sum of one plus eight plus nine and the sum of two plus three plus eight. Then we can use the reduce function as you can see in line seven of the code. And within the reduce function, we need to specify a plus sign within quotes. And then we need to specify the name of our list object. So in this case, our list is called my list. And then if you run line seven of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that an output is returned, which contains five values. And each of these values corresponds to the sum of the elements between our list elements. So for instance, the value 18 is the sum of one plus eight plus nine, and the value 13 is the sum of two plus three plus eight. So in this first example, I have explained how to sum between list elements. However, it's also possible to get the sum within each list element. So for instance, one plus two plus three plus four plus five. And we can do that using the s apply function, as you can see in line nine of the code. And within the s apply function, we first need to specify our list element. And then we need to specify the sum function. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that an output containing three values is returned. So for instance, the value 15 is the sum of one plus two plus three plus four plus five. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.